Jim, I realize there's been a lot of discussion and controversy around this, but what I was referring to is the fact that this was a young man who volunteered to serve his country in uniform at a time of war. That is itself a very honorable thing. Uh, and but honor and distinction. Jim, really, I mean, this is a young man who, whose circumstances we are still going to learn about. Uh, he is, as all Americans, innocent until proven guilty. Here, here's what I'd say about that, Wolf. Uh, Sergeant Bergdahl put on the uniform of the United States voluntarily and went to war for the United States voluntarily. Uh, that takes honor and it is a mark of distinction. Some people say Bo Bergdahl <clears throat> is being swift boated. Do you agree with that? Did he serve with sorry. honor and distinction as, sec as National Security there's Advisor Rice said? Time, at least there's plenty of time for people to sort through what happened, what didn't happen. I don't know all the facts. Sounds exactly like you're not sure he no, no, served no, no, no. with honor. That's, That's not what I'm saying, at least. What I'm saying is there's plenty of time for people to sort through that. What I know today is what the President of the United States knows, that it would have been offensive and incomprehensible to consciously leave an American behind, no matter what, to leave an American behind in the hands of uh, people who would torture him, cut off his head, do any number of things, and we would consciously choose to do that. That's he served the United States with honor and distinction, and we'll have the opportunity eventually to, to learn what has transpired in, in the past years, but what's most important now is his health and well-being, that he have the opportunity uh, to recover in peace and security and be uh, reunited with his family.